guys welcome back i hope we're all well i am so excited for today's video as you all know i am obsessed with anything christmas i thrive this time of year like i just love christmas so much so i thought what better way to bring you this month's Princess Polly haul than with a bit of a festive theme. Before I go any further, please ignore the tan on my hands. It is atrocious. I used like tanning drops, so you can't really see where you're putting them, like tanning drops and moisturizer. And I think I must have just completely forgot to tan, forget, must have completely forgot to tan my hands because they have never looked worse than they do in this moment. So. I'm just gonna pretend like that's not happening. I'm gonna try and fix it later. I don't really know what I can do about this, but. So today's Princess Polly haul is filled with pieces that would be perfect to wear on Christmas day, whether you're having a casual, sort of like family catch up or a more like glam event. And then I've also got a couple of pieces that would be perfect for New Year's as well. So just an all round festive haul. Obviously all of these pieces are so cute at any time of the year, but I feel like they're especially fitting for the festive season that we are in. You guys already know how much I love Princess Polly. They are always the first place that I go to anytime I need an outfit for like an event or anything really. They have the best returns, which you will know if you shop from there. And and they also offer free express shipping on all Australian orders over $60. And then on top of all of that, I of course also have a discount code this month. It is ELIZAXO and that will get you 20% off at checkout. But enough rambling, let's jump into the first piece. So this is the Karina mini dress in white and red floral. I picked this one up in a size 10 and this is what it looks like. I fell in love with this dress the minute I saw it on the website. I thought it would be perfect for Christmas day and I still fully intend on wearing it then. I love the fit, how it's sort of like flowy at the bottom but kind of fitted at the top. It's just a nice flattering fit, really comfortable. You don't have to adjust it throughout the day which is obviously ideal for Christmas day. We've got more important things to do like eat and drink come a bit closer so you guys can see the details but it's basically got these little red roses all over it it's got this lace here with the ribbon you guys know how much i love ribbon at the moment obviously if you spend any time on instagram you will know what a huge trend it is at the moment and tiktok so anything with ribbon at the moment is a massive yes from me and i just thought this was so cute it's just got spaghetti straps they're completely adjustable as well which is a big thing for me and then the back is pretty simple just straight across it's got a zipper down one of the sides just there this dress doesn't have any stretch in it so i did pick it up in a size 10 and it fits perfectly i would say the sizing runs a little bit small on this one just because i am at the moment sort of in between an eight and a 10. And I feel like this is on the smaller side of a 10. Um, so if you're in between like me, I'd probably opt for the bigger size rather than the smaller size. Obsessed with this one, so, so, so obsessed. Okay, next up we have the Samson top in burgundy. I picked this one up in a size eight. It's a super like stretchy, slinky, buttery kind of top. I have quite a few tops in this kind of fabric in other colors, but I didn't have one in red. If you guys know me, you'll know that I'm not usually a red girly at all. I feel like with all of this cherry red that's trending at the moment, I am finally being sucked in and converted, which is very apparent in this haul. In saying that though, I do always just dabble in a bit of red around Christmas time because as I said, I love Christmas so much and I am a very festive girl in December. But yeah, I feel like this outfit would be perfect if you've just got like a casual at home kind of Christmas. This also would work really well for my family Christmas, um, but obviously I wanna go for a dress. So if you wanted something a little bit more casual, then I feel like something like this is perfect. And then the best part about this outfit, in my opinion, is the skirt. So this is the Gazelle denim skirt in light wash denim. I picked this up in a size 10. And obviously it just looks like a really cute little denim mini skirt, which is why I gravitated towards it in the first place. I am always on the hunt for good denim skirts, but I've come to the realization that because of the way my body is shaped or something, I feel like I just can't wear them. Like they ride up or otherwise they're just too short to begin with. And I really struggle finding something that fits well, but lo and behold, this skirt. So it just looks like this from the front, it's really thick denim as well. Like it's really good quality. But then it is literally denim shorts at the back, which I have no words. A bit closer so you guys can see, but they're a really nice length. Obviously, they are a mini short. And if my denim skirt was that short, I would be a little bit stressed. I'd feel like it was going to ride up or like show things that 
don't need to be shown. But I feel like because it's shorts, I just feel so much more comfortable in it. I feel like this isn't going anywhere because it can't ride up too much because it's literally shorts. Now I've seen mixed messages lately, not in regards to this particular skirt, but just skirts in general. Like some people are just saying like, absolutely not, they're hideous. And then other people are kind of like, skorts are coming back, get on it. So I don't really know what the vibe is, but I kind of picked this one up just because of more like practical reasons. I love the fact that it looks like a mini skirt, but it isn't and I can feel comfortable in it and still have the look of a denim mini skirt. Up next we have the Zanzibar top in white. I picked this one up in a size eight as well. Now this one is a little bit different for me. Like I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. I just saw it on the website and for some reason I was just drawn to it. Like, I don't know, it's just different. So this is what it looks like. Now I don't know if I would necessarily wear it with this skirt just because the top is longer. I don't even know how to explain it, like it's so different, but it basically has these splits up the side and then a really long front and a really long back. I feel like with baggy jeans, this would be such a cool, like relaxed look. Also ignore the fact that it definitely needs a steam. This is 100% organic cotton, so I feel like it does crease a little bit, but the fabric is so nice. I was just looking at my laptop and the model is wearing it with baggy jeans. I didn't even realize that when I said that, um, but she's just got it styled with a little black shoulder bag. I don't know what shoes she's wearing. Oh, like chunky black, kind of like sandals. I'll pop the photos on screen just because I am obsessed with this styling. So I feel like this kind of isn't doing the top justice because they kind of meet at the same length that looks a little bit like a dress. That is probably exactly how I would choose to style it. I just feel like it's so relaxed, so casual. Yeah, I just really was drawn to it. I think it's so fun and summery and beachy. It's just so pretty and perfect for when you don't feel like wearing a crop top or something tight. Like you can just put this on, you still look so put together, but you don't have to sort of show anything. This next outfit is a little bit random because I wouldn't style these two pieces together, but I'm going to show you them together simply because I only have these and one other dress left to show you. And I will sort of talk you through how I would style each of the pieces, if that makes sense. So first up, we have the Demi Frill Top in white. Pick this one up in a size eight as well. So just ignore what we have going on at the bottom at the moment. So this is the top. It's a little halter neck, which I love. And it also comes with a little skinny scarf, which you also know that I love. You can obviously take this off if you don't want to wear it. And it's just a super sort of casual summery top. So I feel like I'll probably get more wear out of it this way, but I love the fact that it came with this if you do want to dress it up. I shot this the other day with the denim skirt, and that's probably how I would style it or just with like denim jeans or something like that. If you did want to wear it with the scarf, I feel like you could dress it up and wear it with like a maxi skirt, like a long linen maxi skirt or something like that with the little skinny scarf as well. I forgot to mention as well, but the halter neck is just a tie up at the back. So it's like adjustable in that way. And then around the back is just elastic. Hold on, I didn't show you the back. So this is the back and it's just like elastic here. So it's a pretty adjustable top. And then as for bottoms, I have on the Riego, Riego, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, mini skirt in silver. I picked this one up in a size 10. I'm looking on the website at the moment and it is sold out unfortunately, but I'm hoping they'll restock before New Year's because this is the perfect New Year's skirt. So this is what it looks like. It is speaking for itself, clearly. It's obviously just all silver sequins. Now, honestly, I don't feel like it looks the worst with this top, but I styled this the other day with a white, just like plain white tank. And I love the contrast between the skirt being so like glitz and glam and the top being so casual. If you did want to keep to the whole like glam kind of vibe for the whole outfit, I would just pair it with like a black bodysuit and maybe some black strappy heels, black shoulder bag, just keep it very simple with all of the other elements. Or if you wanted to take it one step further, they do have a matching top on the website and equally just like you could wear this, with some other more plain outfits, you could just opt for the top and wear it with like jeans and have that contrast that way. I honestly just love this skirt. I feel like it's perfect for New Year's if you have any New Year's parties. I don't tend to do a whole lot or definitely not 
things that are this dressed up for New Year's, but if you do, this skirt is perfect. And then last but not least, this is the Leshna Long Sleeve Mini Dress in Burgundy, and I picked this one up in a size 10. This is what she looks like, definitely a little bit less like party girl and fun than the last piece. I feel like this one's a little bit more elegant, even though it is a mini dress, like maybe a little bit more like... I don't know the word I'm looking for, but I'm sure you guys know what I mean. So it's all made out of this like burgundy sort of sparkly fabric. So I feel like this would be perfect for Christmas if you had something really glam on for Christmas. But equally, I feel like New Year's is still part of the festive season. So I think this would be perfect for that as well. But this is definitely a business in the front, party in the back kind of situation because this is the back of the dress, completely backless. I am in love with this. So it drapes down in kind of like a cow kind of style at the back and it's just so pretty. I feel like this is short but it's bordering on too short but I think I can get away with it. Even though this is like a really dressy dress, it is so comfortable. The lining is really soft underneath and then the rest is like a stretchy fabric anyway. The only thing that I wish I could sort of add to this dress is make the sleeves have that little bit of like silicon to stop them from sort of slipping forward. They don't do it a whole lot, but I feel like if you were out and about and like busy doing things and like grabbing drinks or whatever, like it might be a little bit annoying, but for the most part, it's okay. And then last but not least, I do have a couple of accessories. So I picked up this red bag, which is a little bit hard to show. It's kind of like blending in with my dress, but burgundy bag. I feel like a red bag is the accessory to have at the moment. Like I feel like everyone is styling these little red bags. So this one has some silver hardware. I'm much more of a gold girl than I am a silver girl, but I feel like it's okay. I like the thick strap, but if you really don't like um, that sort of like studded detail, then there also is this thinner, more plain strap. I didn't know that it would come with this. So this was a nice surprise because I don't think unless I just didn't look properly, but I don't think they actually show this strap in the website photo. So I like that there's the two options and this is pretty spacious as well. Like it can fit quite a lot in it. And then my absolute favorite of the two accessories, I picked up, well, not really an accessory, it's a shoe, but I picked up these little, kind of like a cross between a ballet flat and a Mary Jane. I just think they're so cute. I've worn them quite a few times already. I feel like they're perfect with little dresses like the first one that I showed you, but also more casual outfits. Like I styled them with that white frilly top and the denim skirt, and I just thought it looked so cute. It's kind of like a nicer sort of girlier alternative to just wearing sneakers. But that does bring us to the end of today's haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Pop your favorite item down below. I honestly cannot choose when it comes to this haul. There are so many pieces in this video that excite me. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I think this will be my last video of the year. So I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you in the new year.